Good job. We're going? Yep. <laughs> nice work. All right, so you just saw the last couple inches of, uh, maybe 10 inches of cutting this cherry log here. Um, this is my homemade chainsaw mill built from two by fours and uh, scaffolding jacks. And you can see the cuts not as clean probably as some other chainsaw mills because the chainsaw isn't completely fixed in reference to the log. Um, but this was less than $100 easily. I think it's 40 for the uh, jacks, 20 a piece, and uh, like 25 or or 35 dollars for the two by fours. I had the scrap of plywood here at the bottom. Um, so I've got you can see on the ends here. Um, I got the two by fours tripled up vertically, and I make an I beam from them. Um, some holes drilled through for the scaffolding jack to go through so I can adjust the height easily. Um, over here on the chainsaw, it's a still MS250. Um, I just made a little jig, drilled some holes and made a little jig, and then this 2x4 that it's attached to slides in the channel the I beam. Um, and my logs are super twisted. This cherry had a lot of twist in it when we split it. I was splitting malls. Um, and so I had to screw it to a piece of plywood. And then uh, on these supports, like this outrigger, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but I've got screws coming through a little bit so that they'll catch on uh, the piece of plywood easily. And uh, and so it doesn't slide around. I had that problem when I put my first log on there that it was sliding, so I put those screws in. Um, so it's not perfect, but it's worked uh, pretty well so far today. And uh, got one log here, about a, I don't know, three, three by six, maybe. And uh, basically I just need to get these broken down fairly square so that I can uh, clean them up and run them through the bandsaw. I've got a shopsmith bandsaw, so I needed to get it down to a size that uh, that could handle easily. So uh, that's it.